This massive manhunt for the second suspect shut down the city of Boston today. And among those caught in the middle, the Holland Central School Band. News 4's George Rickard has more on this new since 6. George? Well, they are all safe, and we're actually in a hotel about 15 miles away from all the activity. But Holland School officials determined this wasn't the day to be sightseeing in Boston. 35 members of the Holland Central School Band arrived in Boston by bus Thursday afternoon. They toured Quincy Market, but when they woke up at their hotel in Dedham, Massachusetts, 15 minutes from a city in lockdown, school officials decided this was not the day to see the sights of Boston. I think the kids realized uh, the gravity of this situation and they were fine with it. Um, there's a pool at the hotel, so they were, I mean, the kids are great. You know, they kind of. We're in their rooms watching stuff and being kids and went swimming and, you know, we're exercising. So, I mean, the kids have been great through the whole ordeal. I mean, there wasn't a lot of complaining. West Seneca native Jeff Denicky now lives in Watertown, Massachusetts, and woke up to a reverse 911 phone call in the middle of the night. They didn't give you any reason why. It was stay in, you know, stay indoors. Lock your doors, keep away from the windows. He was about one mile from the police shootout and had to stay inside all day. The helicopters were going over my house and doing searches and cruisers up and down the streets. It was very surreal. Williamsville native Elizabeth Birmingham was 20 feet from the Boston Marathon blast and was treated for a ruptured eardrum from the shrapnel. But now that both terror suspects are off the street, I am incredibly relieved that he was captured alive and hopefully they'll be able to get. Some information from him about why he did this or who else he may have been associated with. Overall, I'm really incredibly impressed with the response of the Boston Police Department and all the agencies working with them. And also breathing a sigh of relief are those 35 Holland High School band members who will have a full day of sightseeing tomorrow in Boston before returning Sunday. George Rickard, News 4 at 11.